Thrift stores have become popular in recent years, but they are not immune from highs and lows. In fact, one local secondhand store has seen increased competition and, as Eric Nelson reports, must now make changes. There's a kind of a cost crunch for thrift stores right now. Step inside Ark's Value Village in New Hope and you are in bargain heaven. Our shoppers are very price sensitive and our average price is $3 an item. From kitchen items to clothes, there is more than two of everything in this arc. It's all sold at a discount that benefits a trusted charity. The value of thrift stores is giving back to the community, recycling valuable materials that would otherwise uh, be in a trash heap somewhere. You buy a shirt for a couple of bucks and you are literally helping your neighbor who has a disability through the ARC Minnesota. ARC's Value Village has been around since the 1980s. It's one of the many nonprofit thrift stores in the northwest suburbs. The stigma of, of used items has gone away. However, some thrift stores are facing financial turbulence. Costs and overhead keep going up. There are a lot of strong headwinds right now. We have a lot of competition in the thrift business in the Twin Cities. Rent and wages keep going up, but prices remain the same. As a result, those in the thrift store business are trying to get creative to stay solvent and generate more revenue. There are bumps in the road, yep, you have to continuously uh, work to find what's new and exciting for, for our guests. ARCS now has a service that finds items to fit a shopper's profile and even has an eBay site. They are hoping these changes and others will result in more profit. ARC has four stores in the Twin Cities but will soon close its St. Paul location. That's because that one has never been profitable. In New Hope, I'm Eric Nelson, CCX News. Arks Valley Village closed its Brooklyn Center store last year, not because it was losing money, but because it lost its lease.